Romero's Zoo 2. An entirely new miniature zoo. Where each species is unlike any creature you've ever seen. Who's fly? Uh-huh. Uh, catfish. Spider monkey. Bullfrog. Uh, Slizzards. Cool. Stay away from those. And so I started to think. If only I could make them all a wee bit bigger. You know, for kids with meatier hands. That's where things went very wrong. I applied a growth serum. And they took to it all too well. And I've been locked up in here ever since. I'm afraid to go out there again. They've tried to gobble me up on more than one occasion. Why do they despise me so? I created them. Do you think God stays in heaven because he too lives in fear of what he's created? Here on earth? Stop looking at me like that. I'm no loon. What I'm still trying to figure out is why this island doesn't show up on even our most advanced satellites. I created a cloaking device to shield my island from curious eyes. Anything electronically powered that comes within a mile radius instantly shuts down. Any radar that passes over me is displaced, creating the illusion that my island doesn't exist. A transmoker device. How did you know? Your cloaking device is highly coveted. People everywhere are trying to get their hands on it. Are you sure we're the only humans here? There they are. Two children, judging by their size. What is this? It's a miniature of the island. The center point of the volcano provides a gravitational basis for which my miniature creatures can line up exactly to their larger clone counterparts. So wherever your miniature creatures are on this model, that's where the bigger ones are outside? Correct. I can keep track of their whereabouts this way. See? The two intruder children are being chased by a slither. Gary and Gertie, leave them. We have to go help them. They shouldn't be snooping around my island to begin with. I'm with you, dude. We have to help them. I'm not going out there. I'll be eaten. What a bizarre man. 